Since Diddy's arrest, quite a few celebrities have either left the country or made some unusual moves. We're talking about A-listers, household names in Hollywood, who have reportedly been involved in Diddy's wild parties. Now, this could just be a coincidence, but you can draw your own conclusions by the end of this video. The FBI is currently gathering a ton of evidence against Diddy related to these parties, leaving many celebrities connected to him feeling anxious about being exposed. Let's dive into it. What's arguably the biggest secret in the entertainment industry, though it hasn't really been a secret at all, has finally come to light. Kevin Hart. First up on our list is none other than Kevin Hart. The beloved comedian and actor has recently made some curious decisions, especially leading up to Diddy's arrest on September 10th. About a week before Diddy's legal troubles made headlines, Kevin announced the closure of two out of the four branches of his vegan restaurant, Hart House. While many fans were disappointed to see the restaurant go, not just because of its catchy slogan, Eat Your Heart Out, but because patrons genuinely enjoyed the food, it raised some eyebrows. What's particularly odd is that Hart House had only been operating for a year and boasted a solid four-star rating on Yelp, with mostly positive reviews from customers. The CEO of Hart House expressed gratitude upon announcing the closures, stating that the feedback from customers and community partners had been overwhelmingly supportive. So, the question remains, why shut down now? There doesn't appear to be a financial crisis, nor were there complaints about the vegan menu itself. This has led many social media users to speculate that Kevin's restaurant closures may somehow be tied to Diddy's recent arrest. Consider this. By closing the restaurants, Kevin might be freeing up some immediate cash reserves, perhaps anticipating he might need it in the near future. After all, Kevin isn't just a comedian known for hosting high-profile events like the roasts for Justin Bieber and Tom Brady. He also hosted a memorable party for Diddy back in 2010, which was streamed live for fans to see. In a throwback clip from that event, Diddy thanked Kevin for hosting, saying, I want to thank you for hosting the thing, man. It's been a pleasure. You didn't have to do it. And you did. To which Kevin humorously replied, No, 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 I definitely didn't have to do it. I definitely didn't have to. The party took place in a hotel, and Diddy had a rather bizarre request for Kevin. He specifically asked him not to sit on the bed, hinting at some questionable activities that had taken place there. Gross, right? While this party wasn't quite on the level of Diddy's more notorious freak-offs, it certainly had its share of wild moments. There were numerous women lounging in a jacuzzi, and at one point, someone's hair even caught on fire. Kevin jokingly commented, I'm not jumping in myself. Uh, you know, once everybody gets out, you know, just me. That's what I do best. And amidst the chaos, he added, Oh, did the camera catch that? Even after that infamous party, Kevin Hart and Diddy continued to move in the same social circles, often spotted together at various high-profile events. However, the true nature of their friendship remains somewhat ambiguous. Recently, Kevin seemed to distance himself from Diddy when asked about his experiences hosting Diddy's parties in an exclusive video interview. The interviewer posed a particularly provocative question. Hey, Kevin. When you hosted for Diddy, did he catch any baby oil? This was clearly a loaded inquiry, and Kevin wasted no time shutting it down with a swift and sharp response. You're asking the wrong person, the wrong question. Not only did he refuse to engage with the question, but he also sidestepped any acknowledgement of his role in hosting the party. The stakes are incredibly high, as over 120 individuals have now come forward seeking justice against Diddy. As reported, Our law firms have been retained by 120 individuals at this point to pursue cases in civil court against Sean Diddy Combs. This indicates that there's a significant number of witnesses ready to testify, and many of them possess crucial evidence that could potentially bring Diddy down. Given the scale of these allegations, it seems increasingly unlikely that he will escape this situation unscathed.
Diddy now stands accused of running a criminal enterprise through his extensive business empire, with allegations of engaging in various illegal activities, including trafficking through force, fraud, or coercion. While it's clear that Diddy can't be at these parties alone, many fans and celebrities are hoping that their favorite stars had no involvement in any of his questionable activities. However, with the number of individuals stepping forward, it may prove to be an impossible task to completely separate themselves from the fallout surrounding Diddy, Leonardo DiCaprio. It appears that numerous attendees at Diddy's events may have recorded compromising footage that could jeopardize the reputations of various celebrities. Each day brings forth more evidence of Diddy's questionable behavior, and those involved are beginning to feel the heat of exposure. This escalating situation likely explains the peculiar behavior of many celebrities. Take Leonardo DiCaprio, for example. In a bid to distance himself from the unfolding drama, he was recently spotted abroad, enjoying a romantic getaway with his girlfriend, Victoria Soretti, in Rome. The couple seemed to be in sync, donning matching white outfits as they explored the beautiful sights of the Italian capital. At 49, DiCaprio has made headlines for his tendency to date women under the age of 25. While there's nothing inherently wrong with this, there's a curious pattern. He typically ends these relationships shortly after his partners hit the quarter-century mark. However, his current girlfriend is 26, so perhaps he's ready to embrace a change in his dating habits. DiCaprio's connection to Diddy has been scrutinized due to his frequent appearances at the music mogul's high-profile white parties. In fact, sources have suggested that he's often Diddy's top choice when it comes to invitations. Diddy himself once stated in a 2018 Vogue interview that DiCaprio was number one on his guest list, a claim that, in light of recent events, has taken on a more dubious connotation. As old photos of a younger DiCaprio attending Diddy's gatherings have resurfaced, speculation has mounted regarding the nature of those events. Those in response to the swirling rumors, a source close to DiCaprio told the Daily Mail that he has not been in contact with Diddy for many years. The insider clarified that while the Oscar-winning actor attended a few of Diddy's parties in the late 1990s and early 2000s, he was never involved in the more controversial gatherings and has no ties to the ongoing scandal surrounding Diddy. They emphasized that DiCaprio is focused on his career and current relationship and is not thinking about the serious legal troubles facing Combs. Despite the years that have passed, DiCaprio has been photographed with Diddy at various events, including the 2024 Democratic National Convention and Diddy's extravagant 50th birthday celebration in 2019. However, as Diddy remains in custody at Brooklyn's Metropolitan Detention Center, held without bond and under procedural suicide watch, the atmosphere surrounding these connections has changed dramatically. Diddy pled not guilty on September 17th after his arraignment in Manhattan Federal Court, where he was denied bail twice. If convicted, he faces a potential sentence of 15 years to life in federal prison, casting a long shadow over those who have associated with him. Usher While it may not have reached the level of a full-blown freak-off, Diddy's parties have certainly gained a reputation for being quite extravagant. There are reports and images of Diddy pouring champagne over guests clad only in thongs, with many other attendees also opting for minimal attire. As whispers circulate, the distinction between Diddy's white parties and the more notorious gatherings seems to be fading. Some celebrities have hinted at a secretive, restricted section within these white parties, raising eyebrows and fueling speculation. It's as if there were a hidden layer to the festivities, like a Russian doll with a party inside a party inside another party. Access to this inner circle was reportedly reserved for a select few creating an air of exclusivity that left others feeling like outsiders. One notable figure who expressed his disappointment at missing out on this exclusive experience is Howard Stern. He recounted attending a white party only to find it underwhelming, describing how he and his girlfriend 
were relegated to the backyard with a group of other celebrities, unable to enter the main event. There was a cool party that took place inside the house, Howard shared, lamenting his exclusion from the festivities. Guests outside were forbidden from entering. His frustration was palpable as he described the lack of food options, only champagne to sip on, and the unsatisfying company he was stuck with. Reflecting on the scene, Howard remarked, Puffy's place was just filled with chicks. During a 2016 interview with Usher, to which Usher responded somewhat coyly, Not really, I mean, but hey, it was curious. I got a chance to see some things. Usher's attempt to downplay the revelry was met with a knowing look from Howard, suggesting that such experiences were not uncommon in Hollywood circles. In Holly Jennifer Lopez Diddy's current legal predicament stems from the troubling nature of the parties he hosted, where it is alleged that many attendees were either coerced or under the influence of substances. According to the attorney representing the victims, the grim statistics reveal an even split, 60 male and 60 female victims drawn from approximately 25 states across the U.S. The ages of these individuals at the time of the incidents are particularly distressing. One source, who attended one of Diddy's parties, provided a harrowing account of the environment. He recounted how Diddy answered the door clad in minimal attire, revealing a chaotic scene within the house. Everywhere you looked, people were engaged in intimate encounters, he stated, describing a surreal atmosphere where even household name celebrities,